Hydrogen engines have been touted as one of the most promising solutions to combat pollution caused by vehicles. In this video, we will dive deep into hydrogen engines and how they work. First off, let's understand what a hydrogen engine is. It is an internal combustion engine that uses hydrogen gas as a fuel source, instead of gasoline or diesel. When hydrogen is mixed with air, it combusts to produce power, which drives the vehicle's wheels. The basic operation of a hydrogen engine is quite similar to that of a traditional engine. Air is drawn into the engine, where it is mixed with hydrogen gas. This mixture is then ignited, producing energy that propels the vehicle forward. The only difference is that instead of gasoline or diesel, hydrogen is used as the fuel. There are several advantages of hydrogen engines. First and foremost, hydrogen is a clean and renewable fuel source. It produces only water vapor and heat as byproducts, making it much more environmentally friendly than gasoline or diesel. Additionally, hydrogen is abundant and can be produced from a variety of sources, including water and renewable energy sources like solar and wind. However, there are also some challenges associated with hydrogen engines. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of infrastructure. While there are some fueling stations available, they are not yet as widespread as gasoline stations, making it difficult for consumers to find hydrogen fuel. Additionally, hydrogen is highly flammable, which requires special handling and safety measures. Despite these challenges, hydrogen engines have great potential for the future of transportation. Automakers and governments are investing in hydrogen fuel cell technology to power vehicles, with the aim of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and achieving a more sustainable future. One of the benefits of hydrogen engines is their efficiency. Compared to traditional gasoline engines, hydrogen engines have a higher energy density, meaning they can produce more power with the same amount of fuel. Hydrogen engines are also more efficient at converting fuel into energy, with a conversion rate of up to 60% compared to gasoline engines, which have a conversion rate of around 25%. There are two main types of hydrogen engines, internal combustion engines and fuel cells. Internal combustion engines burn hydrogen gas in a similar way to gasoline or diesel engines, while fuel cells use a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity, which is then used to power an electric motor. Both types of engines have their own advantages and disadvantages, and different manufacturers are exploring both options. While hydrogen engines produce only water vapor and heat as byproducts, the production of hydrogen itself can have an environmental impact. Currently, most hydrogen is produced from natural gas, which is a fossil fuel. However, there are methods for producing hydrogen from renewable energy sources, such as electrolysis of water using renewable electricity. If hydrogen can be produced using renewable energy, it could become a truly sustainable and environmentally friendly fuel source. Hydrogen engines are currently being used in a variety of applications, including cars, buses, trucks, and even boats. Toyota and Honda are two of the most prominent automakers that have invested heavily in hydrogen fuel cell technology. In addition to transportation, hydrogen engines are also being explored for power generation in remote locations or as backup power sources in emergencies. One of the current barriers to the widespread adoption of hydrogen engines is their high cost. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are more expensive to produce than gasoline-powered vehicles due to the cost of the fuel cell stack and other components. Additionally, the lack of infrastructure for hydrogen refueling and production also drives up the cost of hydrogen fuel. However, as technology improves and more manufacturers invest in hydrogen technology, the cost is expected to come down over time. Another challenge facing hydrogen engines is their limited range and longer refueling times compared to gasoline-powered vehicles. While hydrogen engines can travel similar distances on a full tank of fuel, the refueling process takes longer, usually around 3 to 5 minutes compared to a few minutes to fill up a gasoline tank. However, advances in technology and infrastructure could help to address these issues in the future. While hydrogen engines and battery electric vehicles both offer alternatives to gasoline-powered vehicles, there are some key differences between the two technologies. Hydrogen engines produce electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, while battery electric vehicles rely on rechargeable batteries to power an electric motor. Hydrogen engines have a longer range and quicker refueling time compared to battery electric vehicles, 
but battery electric vehicles are currently more widely available and have a more established infrastructure for charging. Many governments around the world are investing in hydrogen technology as part of their efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and promote sustainable transportation. In the United States, the Department of Energy has a program to support the development of fuel cell technology, and many states offer incentives for purchasing hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Other countries, such as Japan and Germany, have also invested heavily in hydrogen technology. Hydrogen engines are being used in a variety of applications beyond just transportation, such as in power generation and heating. In power generation, hydrogen fuel cells can be used to generate electricity in remote locations or in emergency backup power systems. In heating, hydrogen can be burned in boilers or furnaces to provide heat for buildings. As mentioned earlier, most hydrogen is currently produced from natural gas through a process called steam methane reforming. However, there are other methods of producing hydrogen that are more sustainable, such as electrolysis of water using renewable energy sources like wind or solar power. Some companies are also exploring the use of biogas, such as methane produced from agricultural waste, as a feedstock for hydrogen production. One of the challenges of using hydrogen as a fuel is the need for safe and efficient storage. Hydrogen is a very light gas and has a low density, which means it requires a large amount of space to store in its gaseous form. However, hydrogen can also be stored in a compressed or liquefied form, which can reduce the storage space required. Advances in storage technology are also being made, such as the development of solid-state hydrogen storage materials. Hydrogen engines are known for their high efficiency, but this efficiency can vary depending on the type of engine and the conditions under which it is operating. Some factors that can affect hydrogen engine efficiency include the operating temperature, the air-to-fuel ratio, and the compression ratio. Engine designers are working to optimize these factors to maximize efficiency and improve the overall performance of hydrogen engines. While there are still challenges to overcome, the future looks promising for hydrogen engines. As more companies and governments invest in hydrogen technology, we can expect to see advances in both the technology itself and the infrastructure to support it. Hydrogen engines may play an important role in the transition to a more sustainable and carbon-neutral economy, helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve air quality. Hydrogen engines offer a promising alternative to traditional gasoline and diesel engines with their clean emissions, high efficiency, and potential for renewable energy production. While there are still challenges to overcome, such as the high cost and limited infrastructure, advances in technology and government support suggest that hydrogen engines may play an increasingly important role in the future of transportation, power generation, and heating. We hope that this video has given you a better understanding of hydrogen engines and their potential applications. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below.